Oh, look at the time, everyone. It's time to go home. Let's put the books away. Okay. All right, Aisha. Come on, Kai. That's it. It was a sparkling, starlit sky. Clear, cold, and sharp. Almost a reflection of Rhubarb's brilliant mind that night as he lay on his bed, dreaming of the future. Rhubarb's poor old fingers were so swollen after building his new computer. Cobbled together with bits of old telly, a wooden box, screws, wire, a cushion, and a football. Mouse, rodent scholar and computer genius from Silicon Valley, would come over tomorrow and explain why the contraption won't work. Oh, if only Mouse was here right now, I could press bar code and be asleep in a jiffy, Rhubarb yawned. Now, sleep was impossible. At first light, Moon bid the day a dreamy good morning, then tucked herself up in a pink sunrise. Morning, Custard. Delicious sky, breezed Rhubarb. Almost as pink as Custard's surprise, he beamed. And Custard opened an eye and licked his lips as Rhubarb took off, flapping his arms, remembering just how smelly Custard's favourite treat is. The birds are as chirpy as ever in the tree, as Rhubarb flies past, speaking like a parrot. Morning, birds. Morning, birds. Been for a ride round the sky yet? Rhubarb chirped on in fluent parrot, which amused the birds no end. <laughs> Desperate to spill the beans with his news, Rhubarb quipped that Mouse would be here soon to get things up and running, so to say, and added that Mouse was a rodent scholar, which means he's very clever. Uh, he's finally gone barking mad, muttered Custard, then carried on catnapping. Eventually, Post Dog arrived with a lot of noise and a parcel for Rhubarb, who thanked him, whispered something secret, and tapped his nose. Barking mad, Custard offered from the fence. Ah, oh, Mouse, Rhubarb grinned, as Mouse, rodent scholar from Silicon Valley, scurried past in a world of his own. Finally, Mouse and Rhubarb arrived at the shed. Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and kiss me Introduced to you, there's Albert the Apple and his three friends too. Curtis Cucumber, he's really cool. Oi. Barry the Banana, well he ain't no fool. Oi. There's Tara the Tomato and the Carrot Twins. What we all have in common is vitamins. We run from the supermarket as fast as can be, so we're Where Rhubarb tried to explain what custard surprise is to the puzzled mouse. Interesting, Custard wailed, and Rhubarb turned and groaned an introduction. This is Mouse from Silicon Valley, he said, in a what-are-you-doing-here kind of way. Oh, Mouse, a, a big cheese, eh? <laughs> Custard cackled and nodded a rustic greeting to the sophisticated rodent scholar. Uh, indeed. Uh, now, uh, uh, an experiment is underway. Uh, the sweet, 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 the sweet, sweet smell of success is in the air. Mouse squeaked excitedly. Yeah, uh, can't wait to see this custard surprise, jeered Custard. Who'd want to make the revolting stuff, said Rhubarb in a knowing kind of way, and declared the Advanced Idea Center closed. Oh, rotters. Used to be called a shed, wailed Custard. Oh, well, a barking mad dog, a computer and a mouse. A dangerous combination, he shrugged. Deep inside the advanced idea center, Mouse explained the contents of the parcel and then carefully slid what looked like a glowing cheese slice into Rhubarb's homemade computer. 
Oh, I'm afraid I don't understand a word of that, Rhubarb admitted. Exactly, squeaked Mouse. Your expertise lies in your brilliant ideas, a unique talent in itself. He is a genius, Rhubarb was thinking in an intellectual sort of way, as Mouse leapt onto the mouse wheel and set off at a steady jog. The contraption burst into life. Rhubarb twanged a spring on the keyboard and the screen filled with the scientific rubbish that Mouse had obviously been squeaking about earlier. Oh, oh, uh, remember, Rhubarb, just think your idea onto the screen. Your computer will do the rest, Puff Mouse. Go on, give it a go. Invent something. Oh, I, I can't think, sputtered Rhubarb. How about a custard surprise machine, squeaked Mouse. Yes, of course, beamed Rhubarb, and his brain cells sparkled and the computer shuddered. Custard will be excited, beamed Mouse, not realising that custard surprise is a smelly pink slime. Roll up, roll up! See the amazing custard surprise machine, Rhubarb barked. Roll up! Observe custard savour the fine confectionery concocted by this brilliant apparatus. Rhubarb continued as Custard grinned at the heavenly sight of his very own Custard Surprise machine. Ah! Oh, Rhubarb! All right then, Pirate Posse, plasma control pads at the ready. To make this very important choice, you need to press the coloured button for the tune you want to hear again. Dreams, whatever they be. Scale up, sleepy jeans. Oh, Pink colors, orange and red. And Hit those buttons in three, two, one. Yeah. Stars shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you, but... Lickety lick, roll up, feast your eyes, watch the pink cat pee, six flavours, all smelly. Rhubarb went on as the machinery groaned and the birds went wild with excitement. Roll up, see custard devour the heaven-sent delight. Rhubarb bellowed as the machine began to steam, snort and rattle while the stench of fresh custard surprise swelled in his nostrils. Come on, get licking, he spluttered. Forget the licking. What is that ticking? shuddered Custard. The Custard Surprise Machine is ticking, shouted everyone. Ticking? whispered Rhubarb, as the rumbling and thundering ended with a bang, and the garden was covered in tons of thick, gooey, stinking Custard Surprise. You know, Rhubarb, before you cook up another invention, you'll have to get that advanced idea centre licked into shape. Slurped Custard as he wallowed knee-deep in Custard Surprise, and Rhubarb turned quite pale.